What's up guys, Ron Carter here. And today I'm gonna to share with you a training that I did in my free Facebook group, showing the members of the group how to create YouTube ads using AI. And specifically, we do this for affiliate marketing. I'm gonna show you all the tools. This I'm literally just gonna break down exactly how to do it, how you can create these ads and how you can also know that you're creating winning ads for winning products. Cause we also go into picking a product to be able to use this for. But enough with the intro, I'm just going to cut right over to the video that I did in the group. This video was live, so you're gonna see me talking to people, but like whatever, I wanted to share this here for you guys too. What's going on? What's happening? Ron Carter here. And uh, so super excited for this. Today what I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is how to go, uh, how to create faceless YouTube ads using AI, how to create faceless YouTube ads using AI. And um, so there's a few things that we're gonna cover here. Um, we're gonna be covering, like why would you even wanna do this in the first place? Like when it actually makes sense to do this and when it doesn't, um, like should you be creating faceless content or just using your personal brand? Um, What's going on, Don? Thanks for hopping on. If you guys are here live, let me know. Hopefully the live video is, is good. My internet's been like choppy for like a week now and I don't know why. Um, so hopefully we won't have any problems there. Um, so after I cover that, like does it make sense to, to do this faceless or should you use your personal brand? Um, then I'm gonna cover, okay, if we're gonna do this faceless, how do we pick a winning product to promote? Something that's already working really well. Awesome. Dawn says she hears me fine. Sweet. Um, and so I'm just going to share my screen and have this be like an over-the-shoulder training where I can show you how you can pick a product, not one that's already selling really well, but one is that one that's already selling from YouTube ads specifically. And, uh, and then how we actually create winning ads. So um, this is like a super cool hack. Uh, and we're gonna create these ads using AI. Um, and some of the tools that I show you in this, just to be straightforward with you, they're not like free tools. Um, there are other free ones that you can use that like kind of do the same thing, but like these are honestly just what I use uh, to do this and to do this for um, the few clients that I am doing this for. Uh, so real quick, I just wanna make sure that the live stream is working good on my phone. I'm using OBS Studio to do this and I've never used it before. So um, we're, I'm, we're figuring this out together, even though it may not seem like it uh, for you guys. It seems like I just like got it on lock, but I don't. Together um, may not seem like it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so first and foremost, before I start sharing my screen and going into like the different tools and the softwares that we use, like when does this actually make sense? To, to do this. So if you don't have a YouTube channel already, if you don't have uh, a personal brand that you're growing, that's when it makes sense to do that. If you already have a YouTube channel where you're growing a personal brand, then it makes more sense to run YouTube ads with you and your face on it because when we run YouTube ads, we run them from a YouTube channel. When we run ads on YouTube, we're running them from a channel. So if you already have a channel that you've been putting in work on and you've been growing you know, for the long haul, then it makes sense to use that channel to run your ads. And this is because when people see your ads, they get exposed to your videos. They get exposed to your video ad but some of your organic content that you've already been creating might show up for them when they go to their YouTube homepage now that they've just interacted with one of your ads. And so, um, and so, but if you don't have a YouTube channel that you've been posting content on, Don says, I'm all over the place. I have nothing personal. Yeah, but I know that you have a YouTube channel because I saw that you subscribed to mine and I checked your channel out and you got like 500 subscribers on there already. Um, so, 
<laughs> and she says, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, maybe you forgot, but like you, you've got a YouTube channel and you've got some videos on there that have gotten some views for sure. Um, but also, though, if you're going to use this faceless video hack, you want to make sure that whatever you're promoting actually aligns with the channel that that you already have. Like if you already have a channel and you want to promote something that your channel is already around, I wouldn't use this hack is what I'm saying. If you, but also you can create a new YouTube channel and use this hack with that. Uh, that's the really cool thing about ads is that I can have multiple YouTube channels that are promoting different products and they're just running ads. Uh, so the other thing too that I want to share is having the right mindset for this, for running the ads. So, and here's what I mean by this. A lot of people think that ads, you, you make one video ad, you run it for like a day, two days. After two days, you know if it's working or not because you're just getting sales. And that is not how ads work. So what a lot of people do is they, and I did this myself, I would run an ad for one day, two days. I would see that I spent $10 and that I didn't get any sales or that I didn't even get any like email opt-ins or anything yet. And then I would shut it off out of fear. I'm like, oh God, it's not working. Turn it off. <laughs> and what actually needs to happen is the algorithm and the machine learning that's behind Google uh, needs time because what it's doing is it's taking your ad and it's showing it to a group of people and those people are either interacting with it or they aren't and then google learns from each one of these interactions and it says okay these specific people liked the ad so let me show this now to more people just like them and then the next day it does that again until it exhausts the budget. Maybe you're running it at $10 a day. It does that until the $10 runs out and then it does it again the next day. And then it does it again the next day. And so usually it takes about 14 days. This is for YouTube ads specifically. About 14 days before you could even make any decisions. And you wanna be running like four or five ads and you're spending $10 for all, all four or five of them. So $10 total. And you're going to need to let that run for 14 days before you even know which ones to turn off. And then once you turn those off, then that, that whole $10 is only going to the winning ones. It's not being split between the other ones. So the, the whole point is you might have some ads that get disapproved, they get turned off, then you got to make new ones. Um, if you follow this video and you make just one ad, and then you start running it and you don't see results right away, I just want to let you know, like, that's normal. That's normal. Uh, usually it takes uh, anywhere between 30 and 60 days to actually create a winning ad that's working that you're like, cool, now this is just passive. Let's increase the budget. Um, and so, but I don't want to go too far in depth. We're going to be covering all that stuff. KPIs, knowing if ads working, if ad isn't working in the future. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that. So you come into this prepared with the right mindset. Um, so, all right, let's just get right into it. Let me see if I can figure out how to do this correctly. Um, trying to like share my screen. All right, I think I'm doing it. It's going to look really weird for a second. And then, all right. Cool. Just making sure that this is like all working correctly. All right, so you should see me and then you should see this website right here, VidTau. I really like this because this is gonna break some misconceptions too. This is gonna break some very limiting beliefs that you probably have when it comes to YouTube ads and affiliate marketing. So what this is, this is an ad spy tool. So basically I can go on here and I can see who's running ads. Right, so see right here, um, it says marketer. Well, I just switched this to affiliate. And automatically, look at this. So these are affiliate offers that people are running ads to on YouTube. 
And when I look at this where it says ad spend 30 days, if I click this filter here, now it's filtering all the results for, um, for like this company right here, this, this is the video title, the ad they're running, SCVD103. Um, they, in the last 30 days, they have spent $567,000 on this ad. On this ad. And this is a faceless ad. We're going to look at it in just a second. But so, and they spent in total on this ad $4.5 million. And this is just... This is just from Buy Goods, which is another affiliate network like ClickBank, right? This this ad right here, this is a ClickBank product, and they've spent two hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars in the last thirty days. So, let me ask you a question, real quick. Do you think that they'd be spending half a million dollars or a quarter of a million dollars in the last thirty days if they are not making a profit? If they are not, if they're not making a profit, do you think they're just dumping it in there and like, we're going to figure it out? Like, no, like nobody spends that much on direct response advertising if they are not profitable, right? They turn them off. Um, and so, and the cool thing about this is like, they're doing this and it's not their face. Let's click on it, right? Let's see what the ad is. We can actually, this is why I like this tool. I can see what the ad is here. I could look at their landing pages, like where's the ad taking people to? And I could just see all of that, right? And so let's watch this video on YouTube real quick and just see what the ad is. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can actually hear the ad. Let me double check so. and make sure. You guys can actually hear the ad. Let me double check so, and make sure. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can actually hear the it's ad. It's gonna be all echoey and weird for a second. Double check and make sure. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can actually hear the it's ad. It's gonna be all echoey and weird for a second. Double check and make sure. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can actually hear the ad. It's gonna be all echoey and weird for a second. Nope. Okay. Here we go. This should fix it. Eventually, it will become harder and harder to see clearly, making you feel detached and less engaged in life. This is when your loved ones comments, start to worry if you're if able you can to manage this on your ad. own. And the next thing you know, you're relying heavily on others. But here's some good news for you. Top researchers from the University of Cambridge have made a startling discovery. Okay, sweet. While studying John says a lesser yes. known area of the brain, so, these researchers were stunned to... Anyways, so this is the ad that they're running and for this product right and the, the, and they've spent like so much right and of course there's people that are like uh like there's you'll get used to this when you're running ads there's always somebody saying negative things on ads and then there's people that are buying right the whole point is it's like you don't listen to the comments you just if people are buying, like, who cares what people are saying in the comments? Um, people are nasty on social media, and they will say the worst things ever, especially on your ads. Um, but the whole point of this is, like, all right, so now I don't think I have an account with Buy Goods, so I can't go to this exact product. But so it's like, okay, what product are they actually selling? You can go to the full, uh, full info page. And what you could do is you just click on one of their landing pages. Oh, see that landing page, that just went straight to their, uh, this is their affiliate link, that one, the first one. So let's look at their actually, let's see, Happy Life Guru. Um, this is their landing page. Some people are just running ads straight to their affiliate link which everyone says is a no-no. Look at this landing page. Weird image. They got some stuff here that's, you know, that they got from the affiliate product. And each one of these buttons, you would think that it takes you to an email opt-in, right? You put in your name and your email, so what everyone says to do. 
each one of these buttons it's just straight to their affiliate it's just their affiliate link this button this video it's their affiliate link this is an affiliate link click on it click on it let's go internet and here we are right and where we've clicked on their affiliate link now and uh and so the cool part about this is I can see, okay, what is the actual product? Um, click to unmute. And usually these things, uh, buy goods is a little different. So, but anyways, this is how we can like see like, okay, what ads are running that are actually working really well. One cool filter for this um, ad spy tool that I have here is I just wanted to show you the top ads so you can see like, dang, okay. Like people are, sp people are making like more than half a million dollars a month with affiliate marketing, just running ads and they're not even showing their face at all. Right. Um, it's just totally passive once they have it set up and they're willing to invest some money to actually get it going. So one cool thing that we can do is instead of looking at ads, we could look at offers. Right. Okay. And I could select which network I'm a part of ClickBank. I have access to ClickBank, so I can just click ClickBank or I, I can click warrior plus two cause I have that. And so, okay. And then we can look at total spend. What's being spent like the most. So Alpaline, this is one product that I actually made for a, that I actually set up an ad for, for a client. Uh, recently pro prostadine new monster in the dental see I like clicking by offers because I could look at the product name so then I can go into Clickbank okay prostadine let's let's click on this and then I can see okay top spend in the last 30 days okay so the, here, see, these videos are like removed for whatever reason. Um, this one is still going. We want to make sure that we could actually pick one that we can see the video for. And here's why. Okay, so they've spent 5,000 bucks in the last month. All right. And what we're actually going to do here is we're going to we're going to get the transcript, but first we go over to ClickBank and we find this product, right? Pro, let's see, whatever it was. I can't remember how to spell it. It was weird. Um, okay, here we go. Prostadine. Go over to ClickBank. And if you don't know what ClickBank is, you can just go to clickbank.com and make your account, right? Um, and then you can get access to this stuff. Okay, so we see that this product right here, it's got a 98 gravity score. That means people are selling it. Obviously, people are selling it because we see ads running for it. And it's $126 on average per conversion. And so uh, you can get your affiliate link here. You just go to the affiliate page. You get your affiliate link. You have to apply with them. But anyways, so how do we make the ad in the video? Because that's what this training is ultimately about, right? Um, Edie, get out of here. The cat's like wanting to get behind the computer. So here's what we do. We go to a video that we could actually see and we view the transcript for the video. Now we literally copy all of this. We just copy the whole transcript because we know that this ad's already working. So why are we going to reinvent the wheel? We're not. We're going to take the wheel that's working and make another wheel just like it. And so I copy all that. Then I go to this other tool that I really like. This is what actually makes the AI videos. It's called Visla. Um, if you guys want links for any of this stuff, just let me know. I can shoot you a link for the ad spy tool for Visla. Um, they're not free, like I said, but like they're the best. They're what I use. So when we come over here to create video and 
we could ask it, we could just put in an idea for the video, but no, we're gonna put in the exact text. So we click on text, we input our script. So we just paste the script, right? And then we have AI rewrite it. So it's not word for word. Rewrite with AI. And then describe the video you want to create. We put in here, create a YouTube ad that compels, if I can spell, compels viewers to click the watch now button and watch the full video about the product and how it can help them. This is like, this is so cool how ridiculously easy this is, right? Generate video. And now it's generating the video for us. And uh, so this is how you could just make these faceless videos. And I'm just gonna sit here and chit chat with you for a little while because it's gonna generate and I wanna make sure that you guys are actually able to see this. Um, let me hop into the comments to see if there's any questions. Is this making sense for you guys so far? Let me know if you have any questions. Um, <laughs> Don says hi. Yes, awesome. I'm glad it's making sense. Sweet. Um, and so this is, like I said, this is part one because I wanted to show you, like, okay, this is how we can find a winning product, right? And we can find a winning product because we're doing this faceless, and we can just create a new. YouTube channel. Just to show you an example, um, this is one of my clients' uh, YouTube channels right here. And as you can see, there is no content on his YouTube channel because we created this channel together when he started promoting um, a ClickBank product called Alpali. Now, he's only been promoting it for about five or six days, so he's had some clicks on his affiliate link, but no purchases yet. But like I shared at the beginning of the video, it takes at least two weeks to start optimizing ads. So, and these have only been running for a week. And the first ones that we put up, um, they got banned and striked and we had to make some other ones and, and now they're running and they seem good. And in about a week, we're gonna turn off the underperformers and his $10 budget's going to be only going to the good ones. I already have an idea of which good ones uh, like there's one good one that I'm pretty sure that that's where it's going to go to, but I want to wait the full two weeks because that's what you, that's what you need to do with ads is not be emotional and look at data. And so we need to collect the data before we turn some of the ads off. And so, um, because everything in me wants to go like, well, this is the winner so far, reallocate all the budgets to that. The people who do that in ads are the people who lose. They're the people who lose money, don't get results, and then they say that this doesn't work. Um, trust me, I learned this the hard way. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is his channel. There's no public videos on here, but he has ads running. I would show you his ads account, but there's personal information in there, so it's, we're not going to go into there. But um, And that's also why I'm not opening up my ads account, because this is on a live stream, so I can't blur out any of the info but this is super cool we can do this and then we could literally make like four or five different videos just like the one that's being made right now and then those are the first videos that we run for our ads and Don says can we use, can we use ads that are there or we make our own great question because you know how we there was those ads that were up there right? And almost like you could, if it's on YouTube, you can go to, uh, you could just type in, in in Google Chrome, YouTube video downloader, and you can get the link for that ad. You know, we, we, like I showed you like right here, it's like, well, here's this ad. I can click watch on YouTube, right? And, uh, and it pulls it up and I, or I can click share and I can get the link. I could download this video. So one of the things, one of the things that I noticed, because I tried this, 
is I was like, let's just use the other ads that are already running. And I ran those and all of them that I ran like that, they ran into a uh, eligibility um, problem. They, they were either, uh, they either got flagged as having like false claims or they got flagged as like uh, the reach for these ads will be severely limited. Um, and some of them, they had really bad stats. Like they would run for like four or five days, but then it was like, it was costing me, one, one of them was costing $90 for every view. <laughs> like for somebody to, to see the ad, it would cost $90. I was like, this is, this is crazy. That's, it's not supposed to be like that. Um, and so like I turned them off and then I got the script for those videos and made my own and then they're running no problem. And so that's one problem that you might run into if you're, because these ads, they're getting, they're getting seen a lot anyways. And some of them are getting negative comments. And then YouTube's algorithm matches them up. And also if you have a brand new ad account, where you're not running in a lot of ads and spending a lot of money already, um, YouTube can flag your content a little bit easier. Uh, so YouTube tends to favor the advertisers who have been, and this is the same with Facebook too. So Google and Facebook, they will favor you in your ads and let you kind of get away with more stuff um, and more like outrageous claims and stuff like that in your ads if you have been running ads for a while. If you're a new account, first ad, and then you're talking about how this thing is gonna like, you're showing before and after pictures, like this the one that, that was getting flagged was for weight loss, and it was showing people like grabbing like love handles and like they don't like that. And so it made it so that the reach was limited. And so one of the best things that you can do is, is just make your, your own ads because it's like, it's easy, right? Um, let me show you what this, what this made real quick. Are you tired of conventional treatments that only mask your prostate symptoms? Discover a groundbreaking natural remedy. Many believe prostate problems are just a part of aging. Let's uncover the truth. Conventional treatments often fail to address the root cause. Hear from those who've sought more. What if a simple natural ingredient could change everything? Harvard researchers think so. Don't wait. Discover how this remedy can restore your health before it's too late. So, you see how it has the power by Visla and stuff there? What we, what we do here is we edit it, and there's the outro that says powered by Vis, Visla. We click here, we delete that scene. And we go up here to the top where there's the intro, because this intro is like, hey, like this lab made this. We don't want that there, right? So we delete that too. And, um, and so now we have this ad, there's one ad, right? And you can use Visla for free, but it's gonna have this watermark on it. It says story blocks. And in the audio, there's another, uh, like watermark that says story blocks audio in the background. I don't know if you heard it. Um, so if you're not paying for Visla, that stuff will be in there. You, you don't want that. Right. And so then we simply go to export or we could regenerate it. Like we can export it and then regenerate, make another one, export, regenerate, make another one. Cause we want to run like three or four ads at a time, um, for this stuff. And this is kind of cool. Cause AI actually did a decent job on this because it didn't in, AI didn't inform what the product is, exactly how it works. It just built enough curiosity to make you want to watch the other, the other video. Um, and that other video is what your affiliate link for this product takes people to. So, um, so yeah, it's just really cool. Jimbo, what's going on, man? See you hopped on. Um, we're just kind of like finishing up this portion. Uh, so, but the replay will be up here in the group. But that's, that's basically it. It's like, this is how you make the AI ads. Um, and you could do this for like regular content, but here's the thing, like, I'm, I'm starting to feel like, like, why would you? Why would you wanna do this over and over again and post it and grow a YouTube channel? It's just, it's so much easier to do this for ads because 
we could just look up what the winning ads are with this software here, find out like, okay, these ads are creating a return and then model that. And the reason why we want to do that, oops, going to look weird for a second. Here we go. Okay. The reason why we want to do that is when you think about business, a lot of people, um, a lot of people are like always trying to like kind of forge their own path in, in business, especially in the online space. And it's just, it's a, um, it's a mistake. And so let me tell you a quick story to really illustrate this. Um, so how many of you guys like live in cities where there's, where there's fast food restaurants, right? Like McDonald's, Burger King, Carl's Jr. or Hardee's, Wendy's, whatever, right? Taco Bell. And have you ever noticed that when you are driving down the street and you see a Taco Bell or a KFC or whatever, fill in the blank with the one that's in your town, you might be in a small town, right? Have you ever noticed that it's like there's a corner with a fast food restaurant on it and then like right across the street, there's another one. There's always like a McDonald's and a Burger King. And they're like right there. It's like, why would you? And then there, or there's like a McDonald's and a Taco Bell in the same vicinity. And, and you would think if you have the forge your own path mindset, you would think, wow, that's really stupid. A Taco Bell to like open up right across the street from McDonald's is dumb. Why don't you just find like a different neighborhood so that way, all the people that are going through in this other neighborhood are going to your Taco Bell and they're not going to the McDonald's. Like, why would you do that? Like freaking idiots, right? Um, and it's funny because I say, this is, these are thoughts that I used to have. I used to be like, why would you do this? This is stupid. Like there's a, there's a Starbucks right here and then there's a coffee bean and tea leaf right on the other side of the shopping plaza. Like, are you guys dumb? <laughs> but what's really going on here? is, well, one fast food restaurant or a coffee shop or whatever, department store, this, this happens in shopping centers too, in shopping plazas. So one grocery store, then there's a Trader Joe's, right? And they're like right there. Well, what happened is one opened up and they saw that, hey, this location is actually really good. People are coming in here. Like the fact that we actually opened up our store in this spot, the traffic from the street is siphoning in here and it's proven like these people are coming in here and they're buying, they're buying this specific thing. And so let's say that there's a McDonald's that opens up on one corner and then real estate becomes available across the street and Taco Bell decides we're going to open up right there. It's because McDonald's had already proven that, Hey, people are driving by on this street and they're hungry for fast food. So talk about is like, all right, we're going to, we're going to plant, we're going to, we're going to post up on this same street right here. Doesn't matter that it's across the street from McDonald's. Who cares? There's this abundance mindset that people are driving by here and they're hungry. And we already know that they stop here and eat. So like, that's why you see that in all these cities, because people are following a proven model and the proven model in that scenario is that, Hey, we already know that people are driving by, they're hungry, and they'll spend their money on food here. Because if that wasn't the case, that McDonald's would have shut down a long time ago. Or that um, Starbucks would have shut down a long time ago, or, or whatever. And so this is the same thing that we're doing when we're finding winning ads on YouTube. And then we're taking the script from those ads, making our own content using AI to promote the same product on YouTube ads. We're basically like, we're basically cloning successful YouTube ads to promote the same product without directly just like ripping off the ad, right? So we're taking it, taking the concepts, feeding it into AI. It's giving us like a, a good replicate. And then we use that to run ads on the same platform because that is our version of opening up a Taco Bell across the street from a successful McDonald's at least on the internet. Does, uh, does this make sense for you guys? I want to make sure it makes sense before I 
continue on. Uh, so, over the next few weeks, um, okay, sweet, Don says absolutely makes sense. Um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be revealing all of the ins and outs of this. Like this was the first step. You have to pick a product, right? And then you find some ads. Then you can make some video ads. But after you've downloaded those video ads, I guess I should show you how to download them, right? Um, so once we're done here, we have this ad, we click export. And now it's actually generating the video without the watermark. And this can take uh, a few minutes. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Bam. Here we go. So uh, I don't want to click back because it's in the middle of it. But on that video, um, my husband always has his theories on what places should be where. <laughs> um, once you're in that video, on the, on the ad here, the video ad that we made, there's a button right here and it says export. I clicked that and now this is the screen that you're seeing. And, and once it's all done generating the video, you just click the three dots down here and then you're able to download it to your computer. So over the next couple weeks, what I'm gonna be doing is, uh, now you know how to make these videos and have them onto your computer. So what I'll be sharing is like, okay, how do you make the new YouTube channel? Which is super easy, making a YouTube channel. But like these images, I use AI to make these images, right? Um, for this client, Alex's uh, YouTube channel. Um, I just use uh, ChatGPT. Um, I pay the 20 bucks a month to be able to make images with it. And so there we go, boom, easy. <laughs> um, and they look kind of cool. and. Uh, and it matches up with the product that that channel is promoting. That's why I made the images look like that. It's like alpine weight loss, um, alpine ice hack. So it's like icy stuff and and fitness stuff and whatever. But um, so then we'll be going into actually how to set up the ads uh, and the landing pages. And you may be wondering, like, why are you just sharing exactly how to do all this stuff? Well, um, Number one, I know it's going to be helpful. And number two, like you may see that once we get into the ad setup, um, some of it's kind of technical. Like I got these other softwares that I'm paying for and that I use to be able to do this. And like full transparency, like, you know, some of you guys may be like, you know, pretty tech, tech friendly and be able to just follow along and do it. Um, and for you guys who can, awesome. Um, but if you can't and you're like, hey, dude, can you just do this for me? Like, this is what I do for clients, right? So if you want me to just do this stuff for you, and then we have a weekly meeting about how your ads are performing, um, then we can do that. Uh, so, but either way, I know that this is going to be helpful, right? Um, so the one thing that I would, that I will stress is the ads will not work if you don't let them. The ads will not work if you don't let them. So if you're turning them off prematurely before we have data, before we know which ones to turn off, if you're if you don't have the right mindset and you're like, oh, I'm scared, like then they're not going to work. A good rule of thumb that I tell people is, okay, when we start, this is what I like tell clients for this offer. Okay, when we start, you need to have five hundred dollars per month for three months that you can spend on ads. And that means like, okay, you could spend $500 this month and and not get a return. Because the first month, we're just getting data. We're figuring out which ads are working and which ones aren't. And, and the algorithm is showing it to the right people. It's showing it to people and it's figuring out who the right people are. And then in month two, after we've figured out which ads are the worst ads and we've turned them off. Now we're reallocating that budget to the good ads and it's sending it to the right people. And then we start to see some sales. 
and but we're not we're not profitable yet, right? We're starting to see sales, but we're not we haven't made back what we spent in that first month. Month three, that's when we really ratcheted it up after 90 days, and then we start to see profitability. We start to make back what we spent in that first month, and then month four, month five, beyond. Now we're just in profit, and the ads are running, and so. I really want to stress that, for, especially for any of you guys who are trying this on your own. Um, the main reason that ads don't work for people who try to set them up is because they don't let them. They don't go through that process. A lot of people think that ads is just like an easy, uh, it's simple, but it's not easy. But a lot of people think that it's easy, it's an easy button. You push the button. If you can figure out the tech stuff, you push the button, the sales come in. And there's still work behind it. Like this is like the quickest way to do stuff, but like ads get disapproved, right? You start to run the ad, you spend money on it for like two days. It's like, okay, $10 a day, $10 a day. And then it's disapproved and you're like, shit. And then you have to make some more ads and you put those up. And then once they're all approved, that's when the timeline starts. It's like, okay, now 14 days, like we're waiting 14 days, making sure that none of these are disapproved. And, and after 14 days and they're all running, we can see which ones are the best ones. And so, and this is why it's like, there's always some work. The process of, of taking an action and iterating and improving. This is a, a, a process that we use for organic content on Facebook, for being in messenger conversations and getting sales. It's like you take an action, you see the result, and then you try to improve it, right? And, and you take the action again. This framework for improvement still exists when it comes to running ads. Like we like that is the ultimate framework for success. You take an action, you look at how you can improve it, and then you take the action again. It's still the same for ads. So we have to go through that iterative process. Um, and so, yeah, I'll be sharing in upcoming weeks. I'll be doing events like this so that you guys are notified um, every Wednesday at noon. Uh, so the next event, what we'll do is, see, what's next after this? We'll talk about uh, landing pages, and I'll show you how to make these simple one-page landing pages with your affiliate link. Um, and so that way, uh, we'll be all set up for uh, the third masterclass, which will be setting up the ads and, uh, and running them. And then after that, we'll do one on KPIs. Uh, and I had to break this up into separate masterclasses because this would be like a, like a seven hour thing if we just did it all at once, which would be kind of like insane. <laughs> What's going on, Sarah? Thanks for hopping on. Um, but like I said, if you're like, hey, dude, this sounds really good, but I just want to like leverage your expertise and have you do this for me, that's what I do. Just comment below. Just comment call below um, this live stream, and I'll reach out to you, and we can schedule a, a chat and, and see if that would be a good fit for us to work together one-on-one -on -one and have me do this stuff for you. But if not, like just do the stuff. It works. So I um, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys like this content. Um, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. I think that's all I got. Yeah, that's uh, it's, man, I gotta learn how to use OBS Studio correctly <laughs> because it's it's just weird um, having it that screen where it's like all the screens together, but um, <laughs> whatever, it, it it works. All right, sweet. I'm gonna end it. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. And we will see you next week. And if you guys are implementing this between now and then, between now and next week, and you got questions, just drop them in the group. Just create a post. That's what this group is for, for you to ask questions, for us to be able to help each other. Um, so, yeah. All right. We'll see you guys.